And one of the things we learn in order to build your marriage, you must practice humility. Humility is a superpower. C.S. Lewis said this, it's not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. Most of the people are self-focused. We like ourselves. We want everything for ourselves. But we're not the only people who live on this planet, and we're not the only people who live in our house, in our marriage. It takes humility to build a good marriage. Because every marriage has seasons of enchantment, and every marriage has seasons of disenchantment. Every mar marriage has a honeymoon season, and then every marriage has a hell on earth, a valley of the shadow and death. <laughs> every marriage has that. And I know some of you are married. That's why you're laughing. That's good. Thank you for your support. And if you don't practice humility in your marriage, it's just a matter of time before the marriage will fall apart. Humility is a lifeline in marriage and is very, very powerful. You know, it takes humility to bite your tongue when you want to lash out. And boy, I am quick to speak. Bible says, be slow to speak. But when we argue... I can't help myself. I'm just so quick to speak. I can, you know, they say men talk less than women. Not in arguments. Not in my family anyway. <laughs> and I would just, uh, and I don't use cuss words, but boy, I can use Christian cuss words. <laughs> Biblical even cuss words. You know, you can make the Bible cuss. <laughs> Stand behind me, Satan. I'm fighting the devil. <laughs> and, my dev and the devil is my wife. <laughs> I'm just saying that in general. I'm not talking about our marriage. No, 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 no. <laughs> it takes humility to lose an argument. Uh-huh. Did you know that in marriage, sometimes you have to back up in order to win a war? You have to lose an argument? And some men or some women are just so stubborn, it's like, no, I'm not losing. And so what happens is we draw battle lines. And we go to war against one another. And the thing about war, you can win a war, but there's always casualties in war. Yes. 